we are interested to understand connections between molecular structure and reactivity. Basically, we want to know what molecules are, what they're capable of. We want to discover new ways to make molecules. We want to de develop new reactions, which are more efficient uh, than reactions that we have now, build new connections between molecular structures, uh, explore molecular universe uh, in a new way. We are interested in using hidden properties of alkyne functional group to make new polycyclic molecules, to make new bonds at the same time, uh, constrain atoms in a way that they will exhibit interesting electronic properties useful for, for example, molecular electronics, building new materials. We are also interested in uh, new makes of making carbon nitrogen bonds using so-called three electron approach. Uh, that combines um, CH activation, which is also an important goal. And we're also interested in using molecules as tools for understanding the universe. We want to discover new chemical and physical phenomena, such as electron up conversion, that we had discovered a few years ago. Most importantly, students will learn how to solve problems. And that will be in many different ways. Uh, for example, they will develop and uh, hone their skills in organic synthesis. Um, understanding how to make molecules. They will also use computational approaches, developing ways to control chemistry, uh, developing ways to troubleshoot chemistry. They will use power of physical organic chemistry to combine experiments and theory to either understand reactions which are reluctant to work or to develop new reactions when necessary. And also they will have many opportunities to develop their skills in presenting to public, both in writing and in speaking. I think what's most important for those who are interested in chemistry is know that chemistry is a creative science. We'll never be able to make all the molecules that are possible. It's a limitless number of opportunities. And this is what, again, for me, makes chemistry the most interesting and creative of sciences. It's also molecular science. So we have to work with objects which are quantum. And somehow we need to make connections which our thinking which is very often based on lines we draw on paper and real quantum objects at another scale. And that's difficult, uh, and that's again something that we try to understand and develop.